All right, so welcome to Coach's Griddle. Today we are going to make some chicken fillies. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some garlic butter. So I have about two tablespoons of butter that has been sitting out um, to get soft. I'm going to add some garlic to it, garlic powder, and then just mix it up. You don't have to use a lot of garlic powder. It helps if it's been sitting out and getting get soft. So once I do that, I have some hoagie rolls. I'm gonna take my butter and I'm just gonna spread it on my bread so that I can cook the bread on the griddle to get it toasted and it'll melt that butter into the bread. So now when I put this bread on the griddle, it'll melt it in. The next thing we're gonna do is season our chicken. Um, I have a pound and a half of chicken tenderloins that I have sliced up into some thin slices. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Some onion powder. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of all-purpose seasoning. And then the last thing that I'm going to add to give it a little bit more flavor is some zesty Italian uh, marinade mix. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on there and mix it all up. So I've oiled down my griddle. I've got it on uh, about medium high heat. I'm going to add down a little butter. Just start cooking my chicken. Hey Chandler. I want to try to spread the chicken out a little bit. Don't want it to pull down the grill, griddle top too much. I know you can't smell it, but the uh, Italian, zesty Italian seasoning is definitely smelling good. So I'm going to cook these for a while. Once these get close to being done, I'm going to put my buns, my hoagie buns, down on the griddle to get them uh, cooking. And then I am going to space out the chicken to be able to put the cheese on it and uh, melt it 
a little bit of steam. So this is getting pretty close to being done. So now I'm going to get ready here in a second to uh, get my buns going. So I'm going to break this down to about the size of what a bun would be so that I can add my cheese to it. I'm going to use a little bit of furlong cheese and I'm actually uh, in mine, I'm going to use provolone and pepper jet. Okay. I'll cut these burners over here down. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to my grill for my bread. I know it's got some butter on the bread, but you know, can't have too much butter. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set my buns down. My buns have garlic butter that I made on them. So that will help cook them in. A little extra flavor. And as far as cheese, I have provolone. But I also have a little bit of pepper jack that I'm going to put on mine. Some people like to mix the cheese up inside. I'm just going to let it sit on top and melt. Tell me, you put this on the counter. About where we want them. I'm gonna get ready to take them off and lay them up. So I'm gonna take my bun, set it on my plate, and get my cheese steak, cheese chicken here. That looks good. Oh, that is cheesy. Well, that don't look good. Tell her you go tell mommy the food's ready. And the last one here. So 
that's it for tonight. We had some zesty uh, chicken fillies. If you like the video, um, definitely give a thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe to my video. I'm going to continue to try to put out some videos with uh, different ideas for the uh, griddle. Thanks for watching. Kale, was your chicken filly good? Yeah. How good was it? Chandler, what did you think of the chicken filly? Big thumbs up.